we're a we're a learning or a technology education company. Um, we've got a couple different product offerings. Um, the one that I think a lot of people are familiar with is Pluralsight Skills. It's our online videos, our hands-on labs, our projects, those kind of things that can help you um, upskill or learn new skills in, in STEM, whether it's IT operations or cloud or software development. Uh, and then we also have a separate product uh, called Flow, uh, which is uh, designed to help um, engineering teams develop and track their KPIs, uh, figure out how to um, uh, improve their cycle times, they're releasing features faster, they're reducing their bugs, you know, that kind of stuff. Uh, and so those are our two main, our, our two main products um, and trying to take both of those to, to make, uh, make improvements in the technology workforce. So the teams at Pluralsight um, range in size. So in, in the skills organization, we, we try to keep our engineering teams at about four engineers. Uh, and then we'll have a product manager and a product designer, uh, DevOps engineer, maybe some machine learning folks if necessary. Um, and then over on the flow side, they might be a little bit bigger. Um, uh, so maybe you know in that eight to 10 person range. Um, across the technology organization, we have a couple hundred people um, and, and that's, you know, engineers and engineer related people. So people that just kind of want to check in and see how we're doing in technology. Yeah, there's, uh, there's a lot of really interesting things that, that happen at Pluralsight and, and some of it's related to um, the skill or the, I'm sorry, the team size. Um, so our teams are kept small, uh, which allows them to be a little bit more flexible and, and agile um, and, and focused. Um, so in my area, I have a lot of the um, uh, the author tooling and, and, and domain or in curriculum tooling. So how do we determine who's going to teach and how do we determine what we're going to teach? Uh, and some of the interesting things that we're working on there are getting better analytics for our authors so they can see uh, where their views are coming from and, and you, know, what, you know, what kind of information um, that they need so they can make better courses. Uh, and then just across the organization, we're releasing new ways for our customers to curate content so that they can have um, our courses but in a way that maybe makes sense to their specific domain or their specific implementation, as well as how do we maybe mix our courses and some of their internal training that they want to put on, you know, so what is a firewall might be a plural site course. How do we configure our firewall might be a specific customer's course. How do we, how do we get that stuff going together? How do we take on all those things in the domain of software and learning, right? So IT operations and cloud and security and data. Uh, and how do we, how do we make sure that people are actually learning those types of things uh, in a way that's not just, well, you watch the video, so you must learn it, uh, but can we actually track that? Can we measure it? Can we show that you um, have learned uh, to, a, to a degree that makes sense that says, yeah, you're now a, a, a mid-level developer, or now you've got this skill. So all those kind of things are, I think, open door for interesting problems and challenges. Now, one of the things that I really like about Pluralsight, especially engineering at Pluralsight, is uh, we really do believe in, in team autonomy. And so our teams end up picking what makes sense for them. Uh, and so that means we have a few different tech stacks. Uh, Node and React is a pretty common one, um, but there's also uh, some .NET and React. There's some Angular. Um, I believe there's some Ruby. Uh, there's some PHP. There's some Elixir. There's some Java. Uh, and, and that's not one team you know, doing a little bit of Elixir and a little bit of .NET. It's more of this team is really going to hit the ground running with .NET and React. So that's what their tech stack is. Uh, and then we leverage AWS uh, for a lot of our cloud stuff as well. Um, and, and those are the main technologies, although I guess um, also in Flow, uh, the, that other business unit, they do a lot of Python. So that's another language that we have as well. Uh, we always have uh, a hiring manager interview, and we like to say, or I like to say, uh, that that's to do a values check uh, as opposed to a culture check. So um, culture can be a lot of different things. It can be like, do you like to play foosball with us? Uh, whereas values are going to be a little more core and central to who we are, and, and your values can be represented in lots of different ways. So we want to see, is there a values alignment? Um, there's going to be some kind of technical assessment. Um, some teams use a a take-home assessment, uh, you know, a simple like finish this REST API kind of thing. Uh, some teams will do uh, pair programming. Um, I don't believe anyone does a, a whiteboard type interview. So even the pair programming would be, you know, you and me sitting down and we're going to work just like we're going to work, you know, if you, if you get the offer and you come join us, we're going to pair program. So let's pair program in the interview. 
Um, and, and then we always try to get people to meet with our product folks as well, because our teams are, are small, they're cross-functional, uh, and you're going to be working with a product manager and designer every day. They're going to be working with you. Uh, so we really want to get the candidates exposed to uh, the entire team or as much of the team as possible um, so that everyone has a little bit of insight of, of what would it be like to work with this person. In the larger scope, um, technology skills are, uh, are in demand. Um, and so it's not just within Pluralsight that they're in demand, but just across the country, across domains, across companies. Uh, and, and that just is going to drive the need for, for more online training. Uh, and so people need to get um, fundamental skills of, you know, what is technology? What is this thing I'm hearing about with 5G? Or what is this thing I'm hearing about with machine learning? All the way into very detailed uh, skills such as, um, hey, I need to become uh, I need to become a cloud certified uh, practitioner, or I need to be an expert in Node.js. Uh, and so, as that market expands, it's just going to provide more opportunity for uh, helping those engineering teams uh, get the skills they need, understand how they're working, uh, improve their 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 flow, um, and just find ways that they can um, put their products out better and solve their their customers better. And so, at the core we're helping people get better at that. And so it's a great time to, to come help us help other people.